Scorpios, welcome. This is your winter solstice read. Love, romance, relationship. Little four card read. We're going to try to go deep. And speaking of going deep, on the bottom of the deck, which I weigh heavily in this card, four card reading, we have yourself here, I believe. King of Cups. So when you show up like this, um, you know, I have the feeling that um, this position then shows where your mind is heart is at in and around relationship. It kind of means with the overall energy being yourself, this uh, King of Cups. And it kind of shows you in a good light, like basically uh, you're being uh, uh, authentic, you're being who you are, you're, you're doing the right things. Um, basically something bad happened to you. So if this is your reading, someone broke up with you, someone cheated on you, hurt you, um, and that's what's on your mind. So where's your mind at? Where's your heart at right now in and around relationships and love and romance? It's broken. Your heart is broken. But this is your reading, and I'm sorry. Been there. Many times. Uh, we already know because the overall energy is the King of Cups that you will make it. Now this is what's blocking you. And this is tough. This is the Sagittarius card. And, and this deck is beautiful. It is the angel, but it's the energy of temperance. And it's exactly that, you know, patience. But it's also, you know, temperance. You can think of it how you temper a sword. Mm -hmm. So, uh... And it's patience because everything's okay and you're feeling okay and it's kind of balanced and it's uh, as a Sag it's when we're at our highest vibing levels you know where we're easy going and we're like you know it's not so much patience I don't think Sag you're patient but uh, it's you're you don't have any problems there's really nothing to worry about there's no hang-ups and so you know it's not really a patience is it it's just living and and feeling good but now that's in the blocking position and it's like again so it's like with this showing up as your overall energy you it's like what you are right now is just pain and loss and i i think for one just acknowledge it as a cancer moon it's like if it happens it happens um even you know strong people or uh, uh, these enlightened people so i've heard you know, when they suffer a great loss like this, it, it takes them into the five pinnacles energy for a minute and you go down on your knee. Again, unless you're, you know, very, very evolved. So God bless you. You probably don't need this reading. But for, for, for the rest of us, uh, it hurts. And this is like, you know, I always think of this being reversed. So you turn this around and I would just say, Scorpios, don't be afraid to reach out um, to... Um, your angelic guidance, you know, as uh, I found that I could pray after age 47, took uh, um, magic mushrooms and a, a lot of work, <laughs> but um, it's really helped me a lot, um, get through a lot. I know that my maiden grandmother, uh, my mother's mother is my angel, um, so that helps me a lot. And when I, when I first laid this reading out, boy, what really stands out is this uh this uh, fiery knight of wands here you know and he's going back towards the temperance energy too i notice so this is advice from spirit too and this i always say with this reading is most important card in in this little reading because this is what a spirit is advising and i just gotta say it's like something's coming back to you and I, I don't want to see this as a person. It is fire energy, however. If you're a Scorpio, like I'm a Sag, but I have Scorpio Venus, they're both found in my the nature and chart. Um, but something fiery is here. You've got some Leo energy. You've got some Sag energy. Uh, could be by transit, you know. A lot of times, as an astrologer, man, progress. Do not ignore progress. Just look at it once in a while. I mean, the sun progresses a 30-year transit. Uh, it moves so slow. It's not kind of thing. Just give it a give it a glance like you would a solar return once a year or something like that. Because I feel like there's some kind of help coming in for you. It's almost like energetic help. Um, probably going to be some kind of transit. Uh, Mars sat, I think, uh, seven or eight, Sag. So, you know, maybe you're having a Mars return. Hmm? If you have a Sagittarius Mars. Would be unusual if Scorpio have something in Sagittarius like a Venus. So Mars on Venus can bring this kind of breakout energy, huh? 
Mars on in on Venus, like you know, um, it could go like you know, hurrah for me and fuck you, which may be what you need right now. And you don't have to let just that energy of it. it's like uh, you know, breakout energy. It's kind of what I felt when I first saw this. So it's like somebody's uh, somebody's busting a move, you know. Uh, but being that this is advice from spirit, it's not, it's almost like you're getting some help. And I wouldn't be surprised if you have a fire sign ride in and help you with this. And this is not a lover. This is a helper. This is a friend. This is, but it's Mars energy. It's someone doing something in its action. So maybe someone takes actions on your behalf. You know, uh, maybe that's what you need. Uh, maybe they stand up for you in a way that uh, helps you get a handle on this energy that you've been dealt, this hand you've been dealt. Um, could be something like that. And now the best part of this reading is the outcome. Because here you are with the Three of Wands. You're going to release yourself. Look, you come in with the Three of Swords. And you go out with the Three of Wands. So that's why I say this is breakout energy. It's like breaking out of a mental prison. You're you're free. By the end of this, you're free. So if, if not by the end of this reading, you know... This is a solstice read for the, this solstice energy here as we shift into Capricorn uh, for the year. And the, the days start getting a little bit longer each day. And so here you go. You know, maybe you don't feel it right now, um, but look for something to come in. And just, uh, this could even be something out of left field. Could be Uranus energy too coming in. Uranus is going to be at 11 on the 29 big square. And by the way, Mars too, I should say. Mars is going to be a dead sextile to Saturn on the 29th, just a few days away, really. And I think this is the big thing going on lately. and Because I feel like Mars energy, this is such strong Mars energy. So think of 11 degrees Sagittarius. Where is that in your chart? Because as it aspects Saturn in that sextile, I think that's where we can apply pressure, personal desires, uh, exert our personal will somehow uh, in our life. Uh, in Saturn's, you know, structure and all of that, and building and um, uh, respect for the old ways and the ways of doing things and the structures of things. So um, discipline and all that good old stuff. Uh, but that's where uh, it could be really an opportunity for you. Maybe that's where this breakout comes from because it's right on you here. But once it's over, I can't imagine the freedom too, you know. Um, uh, of what you would be feeling the difference between a three of swords and a three of wands you know is well it's like the difference between hell and heaven i would think so thank you guys and i hope you like that if you think of anywhere to share this any platform please do appreciate the help uh, if you haven't subscribed please do like is cool it helps me a lot love comments please comment talk to me if you have a aspect in your chart and it's meaningful um, i'll try to get back to you thank you guys